Marco Visconti, Enchilada, IAO131. What do these three people have in common? Well, strikingly and unstrikingly, they are heathenous bastards. No, I'm just kidding. They're Thelemites. And something that I've noticed as of late, particularly because I've been dwelling in certain circles, is that I believe that Thelema is actually on the rise. I believe it's becoming more prominent in general occult culture. Now, I don't really want to call anything a cult culture, but you know what I mean. The general current, so to say. The flow of what's popular and what's ongoing at the time, what people are discussing. Now, I can't really say anything because I've been out working on a Thelemic temple with some friends of mine. Which, of course, I'll share some photos of on Instagram as that comes more relevant. Otherwise, the reason I believe this is because everywhere I turn, I'm finding new circles of Thelemic interest. And these new circles are expanding, even going so far as to attract the attention of people that I'd otherwise never even consider remotely interested in Thelema. I'm not going to share any photos here because I don't want to be like a dick, but I think you see what I'm getting at. On another note, Thelema itself seems to be surviving rather well in terms of the OTO. I had suspected that the OTO to be in a dying state, but seeing that there's a new string of Minervals going on just in my local area with high aspirations and expectations for what it is that they can accomplish and do for the nature of the promulgation of Thelema and for the order itself... You might say that things are going rather well for them. I think in another regard, there's also space for improvement. Now, improvement might sound like the wrong word to use, and in a way it is. But essentially what I'm saying is that there's something to be done and accomplished and that there's growth to be had, therefore improvement can technically be made in some way, shape, or form. The standing bodies seem strong, capable, and well-respected among their peers. Not all of them, I would say, are occultist, but many of them are occultly inclined, hence their interest in Thelema to begin with. Of course, the particular works of Thelema also expect a certain particular understanding of magical and occult operation. Therefore, I will just call them occultists. I'm not going to string myself out on some sort of technicality. So what does this mean for us, for general occultists and also for those who are interested in Thelema? Well, for those interested in Thelema, it means that the wealth of resources that have long been sought after will try to make themselves more available. I believe that the main reason there's any sort of increase at all is because not only out of personal and private interest, but also because teachers are showing up. Various individuals that I've noted, IAO131, Enchilada, which I know that's not his actual name. His name, I I guess he goes by Lapis. I'm going to call him Enchilada because I like uh, the title. Marco Visconti, a prominent Thelemite, uh, characters such as Dot, Darling even, and the like. With this spread and interest of the promulgation of the law, it is very possible that there will be a bit of a shift in the overarching occult scheme. We might see more people get interested into ceremonial operation, or at least Eucharist, or at minimum, at minimum, the works of Thelema. I even saw a Twitter post recently, which I wish I could share a photo of, but it's not like I screenshot stuff, of uh, someone saying that they were uh, really respecting of Thelemites because the works, such as say, the writings, were a slog to get through. Now this person, a non-Thelemite, was reading the writings of Thelema. That's a very striking thing, and that's a stance and a stand to the popularity and how it's rising in certain general occult culture. So, uh, coming back, what this means for us, I believe, is that we will see not just more interest, but we'll see some shift. We're going to see how the greater public view affects the Lima, which could be terrible. This could be a really bad thing to have a lot of eyes on Thelema in general because then people start making up their own ideas. We'll, might, we'll probably see some Rahor Kuit god spousing. Uh, we're probably going to see more people claiming to be Horus. Uh, little things that happen in general occultism that are otherwise unappealing. Uh, we also, in my opinion, are going to see a rise in a particular subsect of Thelema, and that's the people who self-proclaim as pagan Thelemites. Now, the reason I believe that is because 
the greater occult interest is going to typically come from the largest common denominator. Or I should say the largest body of people. And, of course, the largest body of people is our baby witches. Yeah, that's right. You heard it here. Uh, in terms of occultism, uh, from the public standpoint, our greatest group is baby witches. Just look at something like Witch of Wonderlust, who can pull far greater numbers than a general occultist. That's just how it's going to be. Baby witches reign. And as we pull from those spaces, we're going to see debate. Now, what that debate's going to be is whether or not their UPG <laughs> versus uh, the writings is going to be the dominant stance. Also, how many people are willing to dedicate the time to learn the writings and put in the time and practice? That's another phenomenal question because just because someone claims to be a Thelemite in the future, which we will see this, that does not mean that they have any interest in the OTO or subsect Thelemic bodies or even the writings themselves. They may have never even fully read the Book of the Law and will be exclaiming that they are a this type of Thelemite. And by this type, I mean uh, atheistic Thelemite, pagan Thelemite, things like that. Now, atheistic Thelemite might sound like a joke to you, but I actually do know someone in particular who is an atheist and also proclaims to be a Thelemite. It's very interesting. Um, hopefully, we'll see a rise in the ritualistic practice. That's what I'm really looking forward to. If I hear about more people going in for Eucharist and stuff like that, maybe higher attendance at Gnostic Mass, hopefully within the safety of, you know, the viral stuff going on, because we don't want to deal with that too much. Um, but within all those matters, things working pretty well, that would be quite nice. I would love to see a bit of a boom in the local bodies. We might get a new wave of Minervals and aspirants. Granted, there's plenty of Minervals out there that get their Minerval and then never go back. Maybe they don't even pay dues. I'm sure it happens all the time. Akin to what the issues we see in Freemasonry are. But... It uh, may still be for the greater overall. How long it will last? I have no idea. The traction could last for, gosh, a year at most. And the reason I say a year, uh, just as a guess off the top of my head, is because every year there seems to be a new fad, right? Uh, paganism will have a fad. God spousing will have a fad. And some people will stick with it, but the greater interest in it tends to be something that's short-lived. And I'm using God spousing as a joke, by the way. I know someone's going to be like, I can't believe you believe in God spousing. I don't. I actually don't. I know someone out there is going to try to explain to me why it's a thing and Kabbalistically how I should believe in it, and I'm just going to tell you to shove it because I really don't care. Uh, I think it's cringe. But nevertheless, I do believe that Thelema is in a state of revival it is gaining traction, it is gaining further interest, and I'm excited to see what becomes of it. I'm excited to see how many grifters it gets, because that's always going to be a thing. There will be people out there who are going to write Thelemite on their little tag for their <laughs> Instagram handles and shit like that, and talk about how they've always been interested, and now all of a sudden it's such a big deal, and they're so glad that they can be public about their new interests, and uh, buy my course, 1999. <laughs> for Af, <laughs> uh, Ankef Nakansu, or Kansu, I can't even say that right, but you know what I mean. I'm just enjoying some coffee. I'm going to push this on for about one more minute while we hang out here, and I'm just kind of rolling around in my head all my little ideas about this. I think it's going to be good, though. I think it's going to be good. If I could, uh, if I could see more people in the local body assisting with the temple construction and stuff like that, I would be very pleased. I would be very happy uh, because it's overall a pretty solid esoteric system. I know some people who followed me for a very long time are going to be like, hey, I can't believe that you're engaged in such heathenry. And uh, I don't know, the more I study it, the less heathenous it is. I think there's a lot of misconceptions about it. I've made videos on this before, on this particular subject. Uh and discussed it as time went on. Uh, am I a Thelemite? I honestly do not claim to be. I am a Thelemic interested individual. And by that, I don't mean I'm uh, curious. What I mean is that I like to study the works and material. Uh, I particularly like it for its uh, for the writings and ceremonial magic, such as in Libra Abba with the, the implements, has been my favorite section overall. Um, 
the robe and the holy work or the holy book is what got me, which is the magical record, right? I think Foolish Fish has talked about the magical record before. So I'm not going to really go into it or anything like that. Or I know I've seen a video on it. I just don't know who did it. Uh, bastards, because I was going to make a video on that. And of course you can always remake a video, but I don't know. I'm weird about that sort of thing. All right. Well, uh, I did this random little discussion. I hope you hated it. I look forward to doing more stuff like this while I work on my teaching videos because they're so much bigger than they used to be, and that's really a pain in my ass. I'm sure you want to see something of quality, something with a lot of animation and editing, but unfortunately, uh, those are just taking me so much longer than they used to, and I'm trying to incorporate things that are way beyond my scope of uh, knowledge and, and talent. But when all that works out, maybe one day I'll strike it super rich and just be able to pay someone to do it and I'll be able to put my ideas straight onto the intellectual internet paper and that paper will be a beauty. All right, everybody. This has been River at the Nimiton. I thank you for joining me. Massive thanks to all my patrons, subscribers, and supporters. We hit 14,000. That's tight. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.